morning and welcome to my channel Lorraine here again and I'm just going to do a bit of a craft along uh, using up your stash I haven't done one for a little while so I thought it was about time I did and I'm going to make some clusters today now I cannot claim this is my my idea I watched um, Andrea Allen from Artie Mays yesterday making clusters on one of the videos and I thought they look I'm I'm not very good at doing clustery things. I've tried and tried and they don't look very very good. But I followed her yesterday and I thought I'm gonna have a go at those. So I did one yesterday um, and I was quite pleased with how it turned out. And they're so nice just to fit along the bottom of your pages or on your pockets a versatile thing to have in your stash so anyway here we go now yesterday I watched Andrew as I said and she used masking tape on, on a glass mat and then just stuck all of her bits on um, so that's what I did with that one and and that's what I'm going to do today while you're here with me so just grab some things of your own and craft along so I'm just using up bits of papers that I've got in my stash and I'm not cutting them I'm just tearing them uh, and I'm not using a particular colour theme I'm just I'm just doing it so I'm just going to distress the edges of where I've torn that page because I don't like the raw white paper showing through and hopefully this blue bottle, I should have done this before I came on but hopefully the blue bottle hasn't gunked up again, it keeps doing it of lace flowers things in there. Looks nice on there, isn't it? I might not use all of it though, I might just use a tiny little bit of it. Just cut the top off that leaf, but it doesn't matter, does it? I won't have to do it because I've done it. of a leaf on there. What else do I have in here? Um, a little bit of uh, fabric. Sorry, I'm reaching across, but I'm just going to put a little bit of fabric on there, just to give it a little bit of colour. And I know I should be using fabric glue, but not down so I shan't be using it and then if it can go that way or it can go lengthways horizontal like that it doesn't really matter which way around you do it uh, what else would I like on there I'm going to put it that way because I like it that way what about this little butterfly pink butterfly yes I'm just going to do the edges of that because I can see the white card where I fussy cut around it. <clears throat> so there we go. Simple as that. You can make them bigger. It can be more elaborate. Um, we'll do a wider one. So we'll do a wider one. Okay. 
So she just tore off her masking tape, stuck it to the glass mat, and then started just taking pieces of uh, paper, card stash, whatever you've got. It's good to watch all these videos and um, to pick up different tips, ideas that you probably haven't thought of, that I certainly haven't thought of. So a little bit of this calico, it won't cut that way. Let's see. Nope, it won't. If I get it to tear across there, so it's going to have to be cut. And then just pull some of the strands out to give it that raggedy look. This is my favourite glue. I use this quite a lot. Cosmic Shimmer. It seems to stick most things. And although you've got a little bit of playroom when you put it on, it does stick quite well and quite soon. But I quite like it. I'm going to turn this that way because I want it that way. And I'm going to put a little miniature postcard there. Overlapping those two. Got that, this ID number. That could fit under there. Not sure about that. I like a bit of this on there, that's nice on there. The green on the green. Excuse me, I'm sneezing. Don't do that outside in public now, do we? A little bit of a blingy butterfly. So we're all quiet again at the moment, hubby and me, in our little house. And we had family over for visits. We had a fantastic time. And they've gone last week, last weekend they went. Um, so we've had a nice quiet week and there's uh, some more family coming out at the beginning of September if, if the virus um, doesn't stop them. A little bit of lettering there. No, don't like that. Here we are, some more lettering. All the bits of paper that you use, you don't throw them away, you just store them in the bag, in the box, in an envelope, and then just tip them out every now and again and, and have a play. Uh, 
and make up some of these things. Where I got? Oh, there. I think there, that's the idea. So I live where I live is um, a small Greek island and it's really dependent on tourism and it's been quite badly hit as you can imagine this year. Um, but hopefully, they, they've had some tourists, I have some friends who have uh, accommodation and hotels um, and August has been better. The beginning of the year was terrible, nobody came um, and they really struggled because there's not much help from the Greek government, unfortunately they can't afford it. Um, and so August has been okay, September's looking not too bad. We have a lot of climbers that come because we're quite mountainous. mountainous. Um, yeah, I'm going to finished. So, we have climbers coming for climbing festivals, uh, so they're hoping that um, they're hoping that they'll get lots of climbers that come. But quite a few of the hotels haven't even bothered opening this year. Not that there are many big hotels on the island. Um, uh, they haven't. There's only one big hotel that's opened on the island this year, and uh, I think they're doing okay. Um, I think quite a few people have booked um, the Airbnb uh, independent room, so houses, villas, I think because then you can isolate, you can do your shopping at the supermarket and stay home quite a bit which means that the restaurants haven't had a fantastic year and again a lot of those haven't opened. Uh, so we're just hoping for a September, October. The climbers like to come September, October because it's cooler. Um, and uh, better for them. For, we get quite a lot of walkers, hikers, um, climbers, and they come usually early in the year and later in the year. So everybody's hoping that that's what's going to happen, but that they'll come and spend some money to support the island. Just a word of, uh, just a note, when you're using book pages, just have a glance at what words are on your books, because sometimes, without knowing, you might put on something that's inappropriate. So just be a bit mindful about what you use. I'm just playing with different bits. Small flower. bling in the middle of that flower. What colour shall we have? This pale pink. Yeah. 
seems to come. I don't think white's going to go there, is it? No. What else do we have? What else do we have? I could just put a little bit of lace along. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Okay. I think when I used to make these, and could never get them. I'm not saying right, because there isn't a right and there isn't a wrong way, but I could never get them how I would like them to look. Um, and I think I was thinking about it too much. I think if you think about things too much, you get a bit obsessed about it. And it doesn't just flow quite right. So... And I'm quite pleased with this technique. So, Andrea, if you're watching, thank you. Oops, thank you for for sharing your your ideas. And I tell you what else, I noticed when she was doing the video, um, she hardly spoke. And I think it's because she concentrated. So another little one. Um, I think you're concentrating so hard on what you're doing. You forget to speak. You forget that you've got the camera running. <laughs> it's weird. So I'll have a little bit more of this script. This paper that I'm using, this script thing, um, is from a digital kit that I've used quite a, a bit. And it's from Antique Papery. quite nice, quite versatile, you can use it in lots of different different ways. I'm running out of little things. Too big, too big, too big, too big. Not that. No, 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 no. What are we going to use, folks? Just a little dark cut leaf. And I like this glue because it dries uh, clear. For the old faithful butterfly again, but a tiny, tiny one. I'll just do it. I'm on this glue because it's getting a bit glue. In fact, I'll just put that in for now because it's getting a bit messy there. Let me see what other things I've got that I could use. 
This is just two index cards glued together to form a little pocket and I have them different bits in uh, so that you've got a bit of a stash. That one's finished. I don't want to put any more on there. I'm just going to add something and I'm not keen. I just wondering. No, no, no. no. underneath just to give it a little bit of it have to be. So that's stuck down onto the tape. So that's another one done. Let's have a oh unusual shape one. Oh. It don't matter what shape they are does it? These ones, I think these banners, <clears throat> forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think these were a freebie from G. Kerr, who has uh, Happiness in Crafting on Facebook. And she does some beautiful things, and every Friday, <clears throat> for members of her group, she does a freebie. And then a, a video on her YouTube on how to use that or how she's used the freebie. So it's really um, really good thing to be part of her group because she's a lovely lady and she teaches you some really nice stuff. Um, I don't want to use part of this so Scissors aren't very good for fabric, but as I've said before, I don't want to get my fabric ones out because I'll end up cutting papers with them. some glue on my eye. Not a good thing. I managed to get it off but my fingers are getting all sticky now using all of this. 